Alright, hello there YouTube. Time for the next tutorial for the Desert Ridge campaign, hard mode. And today it's Bonnie time. Uh, in my opinion, at least currently, the easiest hard mode. Um, as long as you know what you're doing. So, yeah, I think, I think it's pretty easy. Uh, just like on the ladder, if you run into the real Bonnie, it's also a completely free win. But, you know. You just gotta. I mean, this is this is you know it's very accurate. Um, just like Penny TV, also very accurate. So we're gonna play Castle. Um, I really like that option for this mission specifically. I don't think it's a great um, option in ranked at the moment, unless you're low elo. But if you're low elo, you're probably not going to be playing the campaign on hard mode, at least at the moment. So, yeah. Okay, I think this is it. And the idea is, so Bonnie always gets his balance hotfix um, when he leaks. And he also gets it w every four waves. And in the early game, he's playing rather safely. Or at least safe enough that he doesn't get, you know, that he doesn't leak big. So, my idea is that, you know, I'm just gonna pick castle, play king up heavy in the early game. Don't give him any leaks for the free balance hotfix. And then, once the mid and late game comes, he doesn't have enough balance hotfixes to really carry because his build is really not good. And then we can probably kill him on 13 or 15 or with a 1-2 punch or on 17 or whatever. At least that's how I beat him last time. And I think that's how I'm gonna beat him this time again. So yeah, my build, my build is um, casket. Um, you can do this with, realistically speaking, any build. That is not extremely early game centered, in my opinion. And yeah, I, I highly suggest only doing king ups. I know there was a stage where Bonnie wouldn't push off of the king ups, but I'm pretty sure he does push off of king ups now. So we're not bug abusing here, but I'm not sure. We will check up, check after the game. So yeah. We're getting income sense. Yeah, he only added two gargoyles, so it looks to me that he pushed to five workers, but still should be should be fine. Um, we're easily holding here. The casket is really, really strong on this wave. And then we'll just continue the auto send and not give him any balance hotfixes. Also, in case you want to learn how to play Nightmare, do not copy Bonnie's build. It's uh, horrific. So, I highly recommend not building on the right and also not building like this. Um, well, I mean, it's it's not a horrible start, to be honest. If you've never played Nightmare, then starting with that kind of build is maybe not horrible. But it's definitely not something that will get you to say, I don't know, 2.4, 2.6k elo. My units are underperforming! Reee! Devs! <clears throat> yeah, this is how Bonnie sounds, by the way, as you can, as you can uh, clearly hear when he's streaming. So I highly recommend checking that out. Um, yeah. Fine. 
fine. Yeah, Bonnie is definitely pushing off of the king ups, but that's fine. Um, he's not pushing more than we are, so I think that's fine. Um, this eighth worker is very greedy. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed it, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, so is a split worth it here or not? Because then my casket basically deals only half of its damage. But I get a better aggro share. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I'll see. So this split makes it so that the Devilfish tanks 3 units and the Casket also tanks 3 units. This is why I built it. Um, but obviously it doesn't seem to be enough to hold here. Uh, no, we're not holding. We're probably leaking 3 creeps. Can I kill this? No. Ah, it's fine. I shouldn't overpush. I have cast. There's no point in overpushing. I'm already like making mistakes that I shouldn't make. So clearly just pushing too much is not it's just bad. It's just unnecessary. Like there's no point in doing this. You should just play safe and not overpush. But as you can see in power score we're still ahead. Um, of course power score is a bit deceiving because his buff doesn't really show up there. So that's a bit annoying, but I I really don't think we should be worried as long as we're ahead. Because he still won't be able to hold on his weak waves. Especially if we can send a lot. And we will be able to send a lot. Okay. I can't remember if he sends on 8 or on 9. Um, so I'm just gonna income king again. Um, get the coiler here and get a windhawk in case he goes 9. So I have a dev uh, violet. But as you can see from my recommended value, Bonnie doesn't have a lot of workers. So. We're fine. And as soon as the castle power spike hits, we will have like 50 more income than he does, which should be enough to outscale his balance hotfix buffs. Especially with Hero on a Lioness with a few gates around. That's gonna be crazy value for me. Okay, it's a wave 9 send. There's a very real possibility that I'm leaking on 9. But one shouldn't underestimate the AoE possibility of the casket and the violet, so... There's also a very real possibility that I'm gonna be just fine. I mean, obviously, if I had a bit more gold, I could uh, add a soul gate, which is really strong. And like this, I have a very... Yeah, I have very ugly gold, so let's see if I get something in the reroll. I don't want this necessarily I think I'm gonna take the gargoyle even though I don't really want it just because it's gonna help me here spend my gold a bit more efficiently so all of this trouble that I have now could have just been avoided with pushing one less worker or managing my gold more properly but yeah Okay, Mimic is completely fine, honestly. It's gonna leak me, uh, it's gonna be a leak. But I don't think it's gonna be a massive leak. Depends. Do I get a spell? No. Does my coiler nerve? No. Okay. So all the things are going wrong. I'm gonna leak the Mimic and two creeps, I think. Maybe three. Yeah, probably. Okay, fine. Fair. That's okay. That won't put him far enough ahead to really win. 20, 40, 80, 120, 180, 60 plus. 
Yeah, so from income sense, he's on a hundred income so far, and I'm on more, so I'm pretty convinced this is gonna be fine. And this will be my last send here. Now I'm gonna start saving up, and I'm potentially going 13, because even though Lifesteal Doppel is pretty strong on 13, 4 eyes really hard counters it. Well, in a sense, because the, what makes Doppel strong on 13 is its ability to survive and out heal the wave's damage. But typically, if you can send double 4 eyes, you can really leak a Doppel pretty hard, pretty heavily. But let's see, maybe I can't save that long. Depends what he does. Right, anyway, we hold here. And now we have the castle power spike, we take hero, he took dark ritual as you can see from his king HP going down, which is a big mistake by the way. Um, just putting it out there because um, it's, it's so much better to take hero, but bots don't really know how to use the hero aura properly. But hero doppel, that would be, that would be scary. But like this, it's not really scary. Okay, perfect. We get a send here. Yeah, he adds an LOD. Right? Did he did he not? Did I hallucinate? No. He did not add an LOD. Okay. I hallucinate. Nice! Good job, me! But that's fine. Um, he doesn't have a lot of tanks for his doppel, so if I get double four eyes, or at least one four eyes and a couple brutes or something, I am very confident that I can properly leak him on 13. How much can we push? One more is fine. Get this. Now we're on fire already. Let's see if he resends me. Yeah, but he's he's far behind in income. Um, even if he picked something like great or something, he's like 140, 150 income and we're 180. So that's just fine. We're just outscaling super hard. And sure, the balance hotfix does give him some um, compensation, but I think it's fine. The frontline nightmare. He, he just doesn't have tanks. I think it's fine to go here. Um, we'll see. If it doesn't work, then you can probably adapt for your attempt. Because with this send here, I could also easily go 14 or even straight 15 probably. But... This is not really my play plan right now to do this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go brute and two snails. I was hoping I would get double brute, but I don't have enough workers, which is unfortunate. But definitely not the end of the world. And then it's either 15 or even 16 to be honest, or 17. Let's see. Okay, we get a send here, so we can push a bit. Um, okay, he added two very good tanks for this wave, so he might be okay. Um, I would like to click his doppel. Okay, let's see. He did snipe the brute very early on, and the doppel is the last thing alive, so he's probably fine. Yeah. Okay, you need double four eyes if you want to go 13. Um, there. Okay. I should have just gone income then. <laughs> it's fine, though. I think I'm gonna try 16 to be honest, 
it's a bit risky to skip 15, but I think it should be okay. So the problem with lifesteal units is just in general that you either completely run them over with a huge send, or they can just outheal your send and they will full clear. So in that case, typically you need to save more waves in a row and make sure you just have a lot of oomph in your send. Yeah, and this send really allows me to skip next, so that's very good for me. This resend is so int by him. It's incredible. I'm not gonna push because pushing makes me leak next and there's no point. Easy hold. Let's hunt. I smell, I smell blood. Yeah. Double four eye seems pretty good. If I get another send here, I'm gonna skip 16 and go 17. He seems pretty weak on 17. I mean, he has no good units for 17. He has two royal guards which tank for his doppels. But typically 17 is just too much damage. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. F it. And luckily I'm also playing a composition that is really, really strong against constant sense. Because Hellgates, if you don't have enough to send, they will just get out all their summons, which with Hero is actually six summons. And then the unit is worth just not the 700 gold that it usually costs, but like, I don't know, 800 easily, maybe even 900. And then it's just, it's just a bit disgusting to be honest. So yeah, this is my weakest wave now, 16. Um, I'm on fire for 50 gold, so if I leak it's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And I should always win on 17. With like triple four eyes or something. I don't know, maybe it's double four eyes and one tank or something. Could also be a centaur, but I, I'm a bit reluctant to send centaur into lifesteal, just because the centaur cleave makes every unit around the headchef fully utilize the lifesteal for the entire wave, which is quite strong. So I'm going to go for the 4 eyes strat. Yeah, and he has three doppels, which is at least one too many, and another nightmare. He really needs more tanks. So yeah, that's not that's not how you play doppel. Like at most two doppels and the rest in tanks. You need more tanks to make this a really good composition. So I'm gonna skip after income, um, just to make sure I get the centaur and then one snail. Uh, it's a bit of an anti-timing sending on 17 of course because of the balance hotfix, but I don't think it matters. Well, now I'm saying this, but if he just holds, then um, it's, I'm gonna look real stupid. But it should be fine. I can't imagine he's out healing 17. Like sure he has four of these balance hotfixes on his doppel, but it's, that ca it can't be enough. There's no way this is enough to out heal 17. And if he doesn't giga out heal 17, he's just gonna leak everything. Yeah, okay, he does, he does have bunk in his role, but his positioning is really good, as you can see. It's a DPS bunk. And now the doppels are full tanking, and then they just die. That's probably game. If it's not game, we will just resend, because he's also really weak on 18. Yeah, he's not leaking as much, but this might very well be game. And as you can see, this is the first real, the first leak that I caused the entire game. So he's only now getting another balance hotfix from it, and it's not really... Yeah, he's just dying here. So, <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, oh, is he not? He's living? Is he a liver? He's a liver fam. Alright, alright. I celebrated a bit too early. But I can't imagine him 
coming back from this deficit. So I skipped income because I want to send a shaman. I think a shaman is really worth it on 18. Even though you really typically want to send uh, four eyes against lifesteal, I think on 18 specifically, just because it's such a high damage wave already, it's probably worth it to send the shaman. Anyway, we'll see. Yeah, that's the recent. And you can also see that we have a lot more workers than him because we resend 360 while he's resending 300. Um, so, you know. And as you can see, Doppel's, you know, lifesteal against insane DPS waves is typically not amazing, but his balance hotfix is kicking in quite clutch. But I don't think it's gonna be enough to hold. Unless. We hold, and he... Well... <laughs> this this is the worst case scenario. He is getting another balance hotfix for this league. <laughs> um, which is, as I said, the worst case scenario. But it's fine, we'll just skip one wave. I think we hold on 19. Um, and then we can go... 20 and win on 20. But now this is actually a bit harder because, you know, I, I really would have liked to win on last wave, but I didn't. So. And gates aren't amazing on this wave. However, my other units, Alpha Males and Lioness, are really good. So this these are just a lot of, a lot of value for the money you spend on them. And if Bonnie continues sending, I'm not under any threat. So, and this is the this is the thing with these bots. They start sending in the mid game, and then they never stop. So, you're just fine. Let's see, that's my recent. Not even a shaman. Should be a hold. Also, pro tip: if you send on 19, you always want to send a shaman. There's basically no scenario in which you wouldn't want to send a Shaman. Just because it's such a high DPS wave and Shaman just buffs it by so much. Oh yeah, this is just a freehold. But even against a Shaman, this would have been a freehold. So. We're not in any danger. And now, wave 20, we will not hold. Uh, there's no way we hold 20. But there's also no way Bonnie holds 20. And if he sends us the most dangerous send, which is a Shaman, there's a very high chance that we snipe it with our Deep Coiler. And then the send just instantly is a lot less dangerous. And I think I'm just gonna send a pack leader because I want to send as much DPS as possible. And sending a pack leader, I'm not going to send a snail because then the pack leader is much more likely to get sniped and we really want the pack leader to not be sniped. I mean it might still be sniped, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's just still sniped, okay. But the chance of that happening is a little, a little lower. And, okay, we kill the hermit, we kill all the sends and now it's just a naked boss here. Whereas we have a lot of oomph behind it and then we just, yeah, he's, he stands no chance. And we might even hold at looking at this, you know. We still have our caskets alive. We have a lot of units from the gates. Yeah, we we are livers here for sure though. Like even if we leak. No, we don't even leak. Yeah, and he's just dead. GG easy. Get wrecked, Bonnie. Absolutely free. Victory. Not even sweating. I mean, it took 20 waves, but like, whatever. Okay, he picked Fiesta, which is completely horrific. So let's see. Yeah, he does push to King Ups now, which is good. But as you can see, like on wave 10, we send... Like on wave 9, we are Castle, right? And we have more income than him. Okay? And this will always happen just because he's not aggressive enough in pushing as if you just income King every wave. And then you have so much more income than him. 
that it's fine. Like, if you don't make the mistake... Okay, if you want to send 13, you need double 4 eyes. I think double 4 eyes leaks him decently, but I didn't have it. So, don't do that. Don't send a single 4 eyes. If you don't have enough and feel the need to send, just send income. And then you can either go 15, where he's not that strong, and send him, say, 4 eyes, Shehiman, and a few tanks. Or you just do what I did and skip and go 17. Because sure, he has bunk in his role, but he's not gonna place it ideally, and then he will leak a lot. And then you should probably skip 18, um, and go 19, or even straight 20. But yeah, this... I mean, if you pick castle and don't mess up too, too much early game, you will be ahead in income, and then the, the bad positioning of the bot really makes up for the buffs it gets. So in my opinion, or in my experience, just picking castle and out snowballing is very, very easy. I think you can also pick a different mastermind option and just outscale, but this is this is how I beat him twice, and I never felt like the game was really close. So yeah, anyway, let me know if it worked for you or if you found a better strategy.